So last Thursday we had the Outriders Thursday weekly update. I didn't cover it and didn't plan to cover it, but have been asked what I think about what's been said, and I've been asked what I also feel about uh, another delay on a patch we've been expecting now for somewhat two months close to that well today guys i bring you a quick explanation video on my absence how's it going guys my name is dpj and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe okay so last thursday the news for outriders shared absolutely no new news on the game whatsoever all it really did was tell us the same thing we have been hearing for weeks now in regards to the latest patch they said this, our latest patch is still working through some issues raised during the submission process, but the team is continuing to work hard on this patch and Outriders in general. With our A patch releasing this week, we wanted to take the opportunity for a focused deep dive on something we previously only touched upon, the Fortress mod, and what we plan to do about it. And well guys, that is really it. They do go on waffle on about uh, Fortress and this that, and the other but that doesn't interest me whatsoever. But that was it guys, that's all we got. We're just being told the same shit every week now. And it's for this reason I didn't cover it, the reason I didn't make a video on this. I mean like I said it's the same shit week in week out now. And I'm just posting the same stuff week in week out now and to be honest I'm kind of bored of the whole thing. I mean I want Outriders to be that great game we know it can be. But in my opinion it isn't going to be the case for months this game going off what we are receiving in regards to these updates these weekly updates from PCF the game won't be ready for new content for a long ass time I just don't want to be making videos where week in week out I'm just hating on the game and help they get a bigger hole to hide in I'd rather just pass and then when we do get something useful I will cover it I mean that's how I'm thinking now in regards to Outriders, I'm just sick and tired of covering news which isn't really anything new, it's the same cycle of patches, fixes, buffs, bugs, patches, fixes, bugs, buffs, etc etc. That is the cycle we are in right now with this game and it don't seem like it's changing anytime soon. And what I'm also seeing as well is in my opinion PCF uh, delaying things, putting things off, making excuses sometimes or that even lying about what's coming to the game and when things are coming to the game or even if things are coming to the game. For instance delays on patches to me don't feel like any form of processing issue. I feel they are doing what they can do to stretch things out to fill those gaps. We also see over the past few weeks now they've started talking about mods and a life cycle of said mods like Fortress and Morning Winds. I mean seriously? Is there actually anyone out there that gives a shit about this? I mean I highly doubt PCF will watch this but if they do I feel this game is now in such a bad state in regards to there not being much to do for the major part of the community. We don't nor need to hear about mods and possible changes to mods. This isn't content we want to see. But you know what guys I have that feeling we will see many of these mod changes and they will be spoke about for weeks now and then eventually probably changed and brought into the game. And this will be their way of believing they are keeping the game semi fresh for people to get kind of excited about playing it. I couldn't give a rat's ass about these mods and I guarantee most people that filled the servers when the game was popular don't care either. And yeah guys this is why I didn't cover this dev news last Thursday and it just kind of just pisses me off and I'd rather not have that pass through onto my channel. But there we have it guys it is what it is. Outriders is for me beginning to phase out, I mean I never thought I'd really think that way, I thought this game would last a lot lot longer than it has but we gotta be honest with ourselves, it's failed miserably and that is that guys. I mean if there's anything exciting to cover I'll probably cover it, if I see any glimpses of hope I'll probably cover that too but there's no point in me covering things I feel most people won't care about and the latest dev news last Thursday is something I feel most people won't care about. And on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.